Hey girls, how are you guys doing? So I just literally got into the new apartment. Those are my bags over there. Just to clear the confusion, what's happening here is this apartment belonged to somebody I knew. That is why it's not empty. So all I had to do was just move the rest of my stuff from campus to here. We're moving off campus officially now because we are going to be starting our clinical rotations this January. So I'll be living in the city for the next year and a half. So yeah, I just moved in now and I'm going to try and do the last bit of Vlogmas. I don't even know if I'm entitled to call it Vlogmas. I've been trying to vlog now for the past two weeks and I've been deleting all the footage because it was just not making sense and I was just so busy with exams so I couldn't even keep up. But as of today, today is Sunday the twin this today is Sunday the 17th. As of today till Christmas I will be vlogging every single day. So as I said I just got to the apartment now. I have just so much I have so much stuff to pack and because um the person who lived here hasn't officially moved out. Their stuff is still here and the house is just upside down. So I just called some help to help me unpack and clean a little bit and just get the place looking half normal because my roommate will be coming, will be moving in as well this weekend. This coming weekend is in next weekend. So just want, I just want to make sure the place is tidy and stuff before she gets here. And yeah, that's it. I'm feeling very sick today. I'm having cramps. So oof. I'm just trying to ignore them. Hi. 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 <laughs> That's the Ayi, she's here. Hi. <laughs> okay, Mama Ka. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys. So I'm in Starbucks now. I'm waiting for one of my clients. I'm delivering shoes for her. Put them in there. It's actually two pairs, two people I have to meet, but one of them just cancelled, so I'm waiting for the other one in Starbucks. And I'm just gonna write down my plans for the week. Like, I cannot function without an errand planner. I either write it in my diary, on my phone, or on my laptop. So I'm just gonna do that because this week is gonna be a pretty hectic week. I want to film content. I also want to just get my room, my apartment sorted out. And I just have documents to sort out as well because, yeah, I'm working on something. But I'll let you guys know about that soon. Just not now. So, yeah, I'm waiting for her. And I'm just having caramel macchiato, it's my favorite thing in Starbucks, besides the green tea latte. So, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to, oh yeah, the last time I spoke to you guys, I was waiting for Ayi to come help me. Ayi means auntie in Chinese. She came, she's very nice, she's a very lovely person, she's giving me all sorts of life advice and stuff. Yeah, so she helped me a lot. Uh, unfortunately, she couldn't do everything because it was getting so late and also money. Yeah, I was gonna have to pay her much more money. So I just told her it's okay, I'll handle the rest. So throughout the week, I need to just keep on trying to like figure out what I'm gonna do with stuff because I managed to pack clothes away, but there's still a lot of clutter that's just sitting in my room that's very annoying for me. So I just need to find a way to get rid of that. Yeah, just find a place to put everything that I'm going to be donating to my to my housemates, to my friend Tanya. She's going to be doing like a donation thing in her country, so I just need to find a place to put everything that she'll be donating. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to wait for Chi Chi. She's going to be here any minute. She's going to be fitting the shoes. I don't know if you guys want to see the shoes. I think you guys have seen them in one of my videos, but I'll just show you again. This is Chi Chi. <laughs> so she's just trying on her shoes. So how does it feel? They're super comfortable. I love them. Honest opinion. Honest opinion. I love them. <laughs> Seriously. Guys, how lucky am I? I found a sequin dress top. And it's on sale. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Nope, not a size 2. I'm a size 6. So let's just look at my size. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry that my nails are so crusty, guys. No, that's not me. Not me. Yep. So queens are so classy for like... <coughs> I'm so sorry. My nose is so irritated after moving yesterday. Today. So queens are so classy for like the... When I think when I think New Year's Eve party, I always think it's a queen.
Hey you guys. So I ended up buying the red dress. I think I'm gonna wear that on Christmas. And I also bought the navy blue knitwear, navy blue, navy blue pullover with the fur on this on the arms on the sleeves. And I also bought oh yeah, the nude pants. I love those. Now I'm gonna go home before I get broke. So see you guys. Let me just end today here. Because when I get home, I'm just probably gonna sleep. I'm not feeling well at all. That's why I just, I just wanna rush home. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye! That's my brand. It's called Ralocha. A lot of people are wondering if I buy the shoes and just rebrand them or if i just actually just buy them and just sell them like what's going on i designed the shoes from scratch i actually sketched them and then i had to look for somebody who could manufacture them for me so i have finally cooperated with a factory here in china that manufactures the designs for me all the colors were decided by me all the specs basically of each design were designed and decided by me in some instances i even had to buy some of the parts for myself like this heel i bought for myself from another factory of course but still i had to source it out and then send it to the factory that's making the shoes so no i don't buy them and just resell them i actually imagined this in my head of course got inspiration from other shoes that i've seen before and i just came up with this little piece over here this is not my best seller. The blue one is my best seller. The one that you saw Chi Chi fitting today. That's the one that's been doing really well, both in my country and in China. But a lot of people love this one as well. So it has elastics on the side here for people who have thicker cuffs, thicker ankles. And I decided to put the elastics on the inside deliberately so that it doesn't really show when you're walking. Because the inside is usually facing your other foot. So it's, it's sort of concealed. And either way, it's... The color is very similar, very similar gold. So I will do a video sometime on exactly how I went about starting my business, how it's been going. I actually want to do one titled 10 things I wish I knew before I started business. Good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today is the 18th of December, Monday, six days, no, 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 seven days to Christmas. Yeah um so yeah today i'm just gonna be running some errands the first thing i have to do is go to um wow well, my lips are dry <laughs> go to like an internet cafe and submit my assignment my dermatology assignment it's actually overdue so i'm hoping the lasher doesn't give me problems and then after that i have to what do I have to do after that? After that, I have to go to the market and buy stuff. Buy stuff for breakfast. I'm going to have like a late little brunch thing because I don't want to be eating out. I need to save money. I'm going to buy brunch ingredients and I'm also going to buy stuff that I'm going to cook for dinner today. Like I'm really going to be cooking a lot. Yeah. I need to be cooking a lot. I can't afford to be eating out all the time. Or else I'm going to be broke before I know it. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that after my I submit my assignment. And then after that, I'm going to be running my beauty errands. That's doing my nails. I've been keeping short nails for like three months now. Like I haven't been doing artificial nails. But only this one has survived. Actually, they were all long at some point. But they keep chipping. And this one survived. Like when I was moving two days ago or yesterday, a day ago, all of them chipped. Because I was moving all these big bags and clearing stuff so all of them chipped so i think i'm just gonna go back to artificial anyway it's december it's time to yes honey yeah so that's what i'm gonna do um actually the reason why i was keeping them short besides the fact that it, it sort of looks cute is just that my nail bed was completely damaged once i went to a random nail tech because i was like far from my everyday nail tech and also i was you know under time constraints because i had an, a surgery class last time after you told me that squinty was broken i tried again it was working sorry i'm reading a text um where was i yeah i went to this random nail tech just to get my artificial nails at the time removed and she was so rough my nails after that were red like it looked like i had red, red nail polish i couldn't put my hands in hot warm 
or cold water like my nail bed was extremely sensitive to temperature and it was so uncomfortable so I just decided to give them a three month break of healing and funny enough I've really been enjoying short nails I think they actually suit me better than long nails and I can get stuff done so I'll see maybe I'll do short nails again but I feel like just getting yeah And guys, I've been using, um, I've been using this, I've been using this face wash. It's actually a body wash called Safeguard. I don't know if that's an international brand or if it's just in China. It should be international. Safeguard. It really looks like Life Boy. It's bottled like Life Boy. It sort of smells like Life Boy, but it's called Safeguard. So I actually used it once by accident because I couldn't find my African black soap. I've been using African black soap on my skin before I found safeguard so I couldn't find the black soap but I still needed to like cleanse my face so I just used my body wash when I woke up in the morning my face felt tight in a good way you know nice and and, and smooth and I'm like hmm so I kept using the safeguard and that's all I've been using ever since um, maybe October and I'm really happy with my skin like I'm really genuinely happy with my skin I feel like it Although I still have the marks, obviously I still have the scars, but it really keeps away the, the new breakouts. The only breakout that I have right now is literally this one. Maybe because it's that time of the month, I don't know. Or maybe because I've been really oiling my, my hairline lately. My hairline is damaged after I did the full locks. But either way, I'm really happy with the way I'm not getting any new breakouts. All I need to work on now is the scarring with home remedies and stuff like that. So I'm rumbling, I'm talking too much. Let's go get my assignment done and I'll see you guys. Bye. Hi guys, there's been a complete change of plans. I was supposed to go do my nails and stuff like that in the city center, but when I was trying to submit my assignment, my mom sent me, my mom called me actually, and my mom rarely ever calls me on, like, what's the normal call, she usually, she usually uses WhatsApp voice, um, WhatsApp voice call or video call, so she called me with her normal number, as in with the normal calling system, and I was looking at the time and it was 5am on her side, because it was 11am here, so I was wondering why is she calling me so early, so... Of course, being the paranoid person that I am, I got very scared and nervous. And her tone was already sounding very strange. Yeah, she's, she sounded like she's on leave or something. Because I know she's supposed to be getting ready for work. And I was like, why is she up so early? But anyway, she did tell me that one of my grandmothers passed away. As in my grandmother's, my paternal grandmother's sister. My, my paternal grandmother passed away like when I was very, very... <laughs> She passed away when my dad was very young, be way before I was born, so I never got to know her or meet her or whatever. But my, her sisters, my grandmother's sisters, are the people I identify now as my grandparents. And one of them passed away at 3 a.m. in my country this morning. So, yeah. I didn't feel like vlogging at all. I didn't even feel like vlog I wanted to show you guys what the market looks like show you how cheap things are and just talk to you guys about buying vegetables in China and stuff like that but I just wasn't in the mood yeah so I'm not even gonna go do my nails today I'm just gonna stay cook I even scratched the brunch plan I just decided I'll just do dinner I'll just cook lunch and keep some for dinner I'm gonna stay home the whole day today anyway I have to meet a client at 4 p.m. to deliver the shoes so I think I'm just going to stay home, clean some more, see how many more stuff I can put away, cook, maybe if I'm in the mood, set up my Christmas tree. Ah, but that's it for today. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know so you're not wondering what happened to the day two vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
the Christmas tree and I did a little bit of, I don't know what to call that, decor. I put my flint lay mat, fluffy, the fluffy um, rug that I always use for my flint lays, I got that in Ikea. And the light box that I got for Ilya's birthday, I just changed the letters and put Merry Christmas. And an old box is actually empty, I haven't yet bought Christmas gifts. I wanted to show you guys what I'm cooking. So I have unpeeled potatoes over there. I had to wash them very, mm, I had to wash them thoroughly before I actually put them in to be boiled. Yeah, because potatoes in China are never clean. Actually, vegetables in China in general are never clean. So I'm gonna boil those and then when they're half boiled, I'm just going to take them out, let them cool off a little bit, cut them into maybe four pieces each and put them in the oven. And I'm gonna do that at the same time with the chicken. I'm also letting the chicken boil so that it's just half cooked as well. And then I'm gonna marinate it with the potatoes and put them both in the oven at the same time. And then while that's happening, I'm going to be making gravy on the side. supposed to clean my room but I'm feeling so lazy I don't even want to do anything I just want to sit here watch stuff on YouTube uh, actually, I want to start editing this video this vlog because I want to upload it on Wednesday before I film my makeup video um, what was I gonna say just now I went to Walmart and mini so I went to Walmart to buy breakfast for tomorrow because I need to start eating all my three meals. I don't eat very well during exam week, so I lose a lot of weight. I think I'm at 54 right now, and I know I can go all the way up to 60. My ideal weight when I look really nice and all my clothes and stuff is 60 kg. 55 is okay, but I still look, I still look a little bit frail. But 53, 54 is my danger zone. 50 is when I'm really finished. So I just checked myself a few hours ago. I was 53 and I'd eaten and I'm wearing like thermals and stuff. So I think I'm actually around 52, which is really bad. Everybody can actually see it. Somebody last week was telling me I look... Yeah, so I'm trying to regain all my weight back, hopefully before the new year. Because I want to be looking good in my clothes. So... Yeah. I went to Walmart to buy breakfast stuff. I bought um I bought muesli and hot chocolate. I just wanted to, I just wanted an excuse to get hot chocolate because I love hot chocolate. And also went to Minnesota to get a hot water bottle because it's so cold in the night. I couldn't sleep yesterday. What else did I buy? Yeah, just like toiletries, toothpaste, a new toothbrush, um, mouthwash, that's it. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to see something. I never like going to see these videos because they, they just embarrass me. <laughs> Let me just tell you something about myself. I used to do everything when I was young. Every single thing. I used to play sports. I used to sing. I used to dance. I used to take part in all the like competitions, talent shows. I'd always be there. I used to do poetry. I used to act. I was in drama. And you guys already know I, I like beauty pageantry and stuff like that and modeling and stuff. So I used to model as well. I used to wear braces, very thick braces and my, my lips literally look like all the time. So I found one of the videos that was uploaded after I, after I auditioned for some show in my country called Gemstones. It was like a talent search, talent search type of thing. So there's all, this, there's all these videos on YouTube. So every time you search my name, Aon Editira, you get to see all those videos. So I thought I might as well just show you guys <laughs> some of them. I looked so bad, guys. And I was singing. I was singing John Legend. 
here's the thing with me and singing i love singing i love singing i always tell people if i could pick a talent if we were allowed to like actually pick talents for ourselves i'll definitely pick singing when i hear somebody who can sing it just makes me so like i literally get goosebumps and people know like i wish i wish i could get that sort of reaction out of people so i've always thought in my mind i always thought i could sing like i always thought i was the greatest singer and i'd always done all these competitions talent shows but anyway the point is i wanted to show you guys um i wanted to show you guys a video of me singing it's really not the best but i just thought it was so funny and it looks i look so different in it so i just wanted you guys to to check it out stay tuned Water every day and i can't seem to shave the pain i'm trying to find the words to say please stay first of all guys what's around my neck what's happening to my hair <laughs> where are my eyebrows hey. It's written all over my face I can't function the same when you're not here Screaming your name and no one's there And I hope one day you'll see Nobody has it easy I still can't believe you Found somebody new And I wish you the best I guess Cause everybody knows that nobody really knows how to make it work or how to ease the hurt. We've heard it all before that everybody knows just how to make it right. I wish we gave it one more <laughs> try. One more try. Oh my goodness. 